Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Cyanar here, back again with another GTA 5 Online video. And in today's video, I'm coming at you guys with this nice white transfer outfit after the latest patch 1.50, or aka the casino update. But yeah guys, before I start this video, I want to thank you guys for 13,000 subscribers. The support is still crazy, even though I've been gone for like, what, two months? But yeah, I want to thank you guys for that. And also, this is another transfer glitch, so you guys will be losing all of your outfits. So I recommend you guys equipping the outfit that you guys want to keep before starting this glitch. And also, you guys will need two requirements for this video. The first requirement, which is the main one, is that you guys will need your main character on slot number one, not on slot two. And also, you guys will need that amount of money that I put on the beginning of the video, so like, which is on your screen. So yeah, guys, once you guys have those two requirements, you guys are set to go. And uh, yeah, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into the video. Alright, so the first thing you guys want to do, you guys want to make your um, way over to any clothing store. It doesn't matter. It could also be in your apartment. So now from there, go over to your outfits and make sure you guys are equipping the outfit that you guys want to keep. And then just go ahead and delete every single outfit that you guys have saved on your um, list. So now from here, as you guys can see, I'm in the invite only session. I recommend you guys doing it also because it also like, you know, it helps the glitch. So now from there, go ahead and press options, go to online and go to swap character. And I'll see you guys when I load it, load it into the swap character thing. Alright, so once you guys are here, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and just create a female character. And uh, yeah, so as you guys can see, I have a male character right now. But yeah, I'm going I'm to be switching it to a female. So if you guys have the same thing, just go ahead and do the same thing that I do. And also go ahead and copy your money over to the female character as this will help out the glitch a lot. So now from here, what you guys want to do, press right on the D-pad to switch it to a female. And boom. Now go ahead and put save and continue. And just put out any random name, it doesn't matter. But as, as you guys can see on our clipboard, it says subscribe. Make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And uh, yes, uh, um, so yeah, see you guys when I'm in the session. All right, so once you guys had loaded into the session with the female character, the first thing you guys want to do, open up your map and make sure you do have a clothing store located on your map. As you guys can see, I do have a clothing store right here. So now I'm going to be making my way over there. So I'll see you guys when I get uh, when I arrive at the clothing store. So once you guys had made your way over to the clothing store, the first thing I was going to do is want to make your way over to the pants section. So now from here, go down to sport pants and purchase the first pants that you guys see, the spotted muscle pants. So go ahead and purchase that. Now from here, make your way over to the top section, then scroll down to TC. Um, keep on scrolling to see tuck t-shirts. Now from there, scroll all the way down to the end and then scroll back up to see the blue digital t-shirt. As you guys can see, it's going to be right here. I passed it down right here, the blue dig uh, digital t-shirt. Go ahead and purchase that. Now from here back up, go back into the tops, and then scroll down until you see work jackets. Now from here, scroll down until you see the brown closed field jacket, as you can see it's this one right here. Go ahead and purchase it. Now from there, go over to the shoe section. So yeah, just make your way over there. And now from here, when you guys are on the, on the shoe section, go down to high heel boots, and then scroll down until you see these boots that I'm about to put on right here. The deluxe midnight combat boots go ahead and purchase those once you guys had purchased those go ahead and make your way over to the accessories section what you guys want to do there you guys want to go ahead and take off any earrings or any like you know bracelets any type of accessory now from there go over to the glove section and purchase the light woolen tactical gloves once you guys had purchased those make your way over to the hat section now from there what you guys want to do you guys want to scroll down so you see canvas hats and then purchase the gray plate canvas hat which will be like the second to the last so now, as you guys can see, we are officially done with the outfit. So go ahead and save it on the front on the front counter, then save it on the second slot, or it doesn't matter where you guys save it, but just save it somewhere. And then again, it doesn't matter what you guys name it. You guys could just you know spam random letters, but I'm gonna be naming it Checker. So yeah, um, so yeah, just go ahead and double save it, just to make sure, as I always do. Now from there, back out, open up your interact interaction menu, and then go ahead and take the easy way out. What that does, that like forces the game to like auto save. So you guys won't have to worry about the glitch not working. So once you guys have spawned outside, what you guys want to do, you guys want to press options, then go to online, and go to creator. You guys are going to have to make a land race, but if you guys don't know how to do that, I'll be showing you guys in this video. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys when I load it in. 
So once you guys are at this part, go ahead and put create a race. Now from there, go to land race. Then your screen will blink multiple times. So now from there, you guys will be brought, um, brought back to the ground. Now go ahead and fill in the race details. The title, it really doesn't matter what you guys name it. Just spam random letters as you guys can see. That's what I'm doing. A photo, just take a photo of anything. And now maximum players, bring that out to three. Race type, keep that standard. And route type, make that point to point. Now placement trigger. Go ahead and press options, open up your map, and go to towards the airport. And boom, you guys will teleport at the airport, which will make this process even faster. Place the trigger anywhere, lobby camera, take a picture of anything, and then checkpoints. It really doesn't matter, like, you know, where your checkpoints are placed, but as long as the length of the race is 1.00 MI. If you guys don't know how to tell, like, what's your, the length of your race, it will tell you on the bottom right corner. As you can see, I'm at 14 right now. I gotta make sure that it's over 80 or just 1.00 MI. And, uh, yeah, so just go ahead and place them, as you guys can see. And also, you guys can hold down triangle to make this, you know, process faster. What I do, just follow, like, the same route that I take. It will, like, make it faster, right? so, I, I guess. And then, boom, right here, as you guys can see, 1.00. And then, right there, just back out and then go to test race. Yes, guys, you guys do have to finish the, the race. So, I'll see you guys when I'm done with mine. So once you guys finish the race, go ahead and press X on this alert. Now from there, as fast as possible, press options, go to online, and go to choose character. Do not go to play GTA 5 online or else this glitch will get ruined and you guys will have to start the process all over again. So yeah guys, press um, put choose character and you guys should be back on the, on the option where you guys would choose the female character or the male character. So now from here, all you guys gotta do is just go ahead and delete your female character. And be careful guys, you guys are gonna be hovering over the male character, so just press right on the D-pad and boom. And then just press square to delete the female. Type in delete, and then just wait for the alert to disappear. And as you guys can see, there will be a new female or like a male, but like the uh, character that we've created is now like gone. So now from here, go ahead and press circle to return back to story mode. So I'll see you guys when I'm back in story mode. So once you guys are back in story mode, go ahead and press options. Now from there, go to online and start up a invite only session. Do not join a public session or else this glitch will get ruined. And yes, guys, you guys will need to restart this whole glitch all over again. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys when I'm in that invite only session. Alright, so once you guys loaded into the invite only session, make your way to any clothing store or apartment. It really doesn't matter. Just somewhere where you guys can access your saved outfits. So I'll see you guys when I made it inside of the clothing store. Alright, so once you guys have made it to the clothing store or your apartment, go to the closet or to the front counter to save your outfit before doing the next step. As you guys can see, Checker did transfer over, which is the outfit that we made on the female character. So yeah, just right here, go ahead and save your outfit on slot number 10. Make sure you double save it just to make sure it really saves. As you can see, checker. So now from here, this is the part where like the, like where it's really expensive, which is the flight suit. Go ahead and purchase this white flight suit. That's the reason why it costs so much to make this outfit. So go ahead and purchase that. Now from there, go ahead and just take off the um the helmet. By doing that, just open up your interaction menu and just go ahead and take it off. And also, make sure you, you guys get rid of the um, gloves and put on these black gloves that I'm about to show you guys. Just keep on scrolling down. There are these black leather gloves. Once you purchase that, go ahead and open up your interaction menu. Make sure you have an earpiece. If you do not own an earpiece, go ahead and go to the closest ammunition store and go ahead and buy one. So now from here, go ahead and press options, go to online, go to quick job, play job, and then go to versus and start up a Kirk the Cop mission. So I'll see you guys when I load it in. So once you guys see this on your screen, scroll down to uh, clothing, set that as player owned. 
now from here go ahead and invite, invite a friend or anybody random and uh yeah so once they join go ahead and start up the job so i'll see you guys when someone joined so once you guys have found someone to join you just go ahead and start up the job and now from here what you guys want to do you just want to wait and then just scroll down to owned outfits and scroll once to the right and you guys will see the nice white modded outfit and now from here just tell your friend or the person that's with you to just ready up so you guys can start the job and i'll see you guys when i load it in All right, so once the job has started, the first thing you guys want to do, you guys want to go ahead and open up your interaction menu and equip that earpiece that we were talking about in the clothing store. So go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to style, go to style, go to accessories and go once to the left on gear. And then just go ahead and just, you know, don't back out right away. Just wait in, like in the game for like a couple of seconds. But what I do, I just get in the car and then I drive in front of the clothing store before backing out. You guys could do the same thing. It just like, you know, saves time. So yeah, just go ahead and do that. If you guys just back out right away, there's a chance that you guys might end up in a bad sport lobby. So like if you guys just wait in there for a couple of more seconds, there's a chance that that won't happen or anything like that. But yeah, once you guys have done that, go ahead and just back out through your phone. And I'll see you guys when I'm back in the um, session. So once you guys made it back to the session, as you guys can see, you guys will have the modded outfit. So now from here, make your way over to the clothing store or to your nearest apartment and save this outfit. But as you, as you guys can see, I'm going to the nearest clothing store that I had on my map. As I did put um, my spawn location to last location, which it really helps. I recommend you guys doing that. So now from here, go ahead and, you know, um, save the outfit. But before I save the outfit, I always take off the earpiece. But it's optional. If you guys want to keep the earpiece, you guys could go ahead and keep it. But I'm going to be removing it. And boom. As you can see, this nice white modded outfit, it's really, you know, it's probably one of my favorites. I just like how, like, you know, it, I don't know, I just, there's something about it that just, you know, stands out. But yeah, um, so yeah, I added a parachute because it adds more, like, you know, more looks to it, I guess. Because it is a flight suit, so, you know, it just goes well. But yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you guys are new. Let me know in the comment section down below what type of outfits you guys want to see in the future. And uh, yeah, so that's been it, and I'm out. Peace.